One thing that's kind of fun about designing and coming up with something original for people is to think of things that no one's really done before or maybe something they haven't really seen before. Hi, my name is Rick Pendleton. I'm the creator and owner of Artisan Home Resorts. Uh, we're a design firm and I started Artisan Home Resorts about 10 years ago with the purpose of creating, designing outdoor environment uh, living spaces for people that want to have a place to go to that's uh, kind of a vacation away from everything. We create outdoor environments that take them to another place, uh, places they love to go to or be at. On this particular site, uh, we're in Northern California, here are the mountains, and um, the client wanted a, a water feature, waterfalls. Uh, there was an original pool here that was built in the 1980s, so we had to remove it because it didn't quite fit in with the motif of the house and the cabana. So we demolitioned the pool, completely removed it, and then we went ahead and um, built this pool that you see behind me right here, the waterfall. They wanted a slide, uh, something that no one else had. That's kind of what we came up with. This particular client, uh, him and his wife, wanted uh, something that would be entertaining for their friends. So we talked about some different ideas that, that I've had in the past that I wanted to do. One was to create an, uh, an underwater canyon. Uh, this pool is uh, 12 feet deep. And to make it more of a kind of a fun experience, we decided to do um, rock formation under the water. Uh, we used uh, what they call GFRC, which are concrete panels that are fashioned and uh, cast off of real rock. We hand selected those panels down in LA from a company that manufactures those for us. And then we mix them with real rock boulders. So we've got about 150 tons of real rock on this site uh, mixed in with GFRC. And we call that interfacing between the, the GFRC where it meets the real rock. And so we uh, kind of trick the eye and we, we disguise it and we color it to where you really can't tell the difference between the, the, the man-made rock formation and real rock. That was, that was the challenge of this job. We have a beach entry on this pool, which is really fun. We have a giant beach rock, which is about the size of a car. You can actually uh, go up a series of stone stairs, a canyon, and there's three upper pools, we call them view cool pools. And you can go ahead and dip in these things and just kind of disappear and hide and enjoy the, the scenery behind you, the mountains. It has a custom-made concrete slide that has three twists to it. It's 35 linear feet, but it's a fast ride. It's very exciting. We brought in a real rock at the exit point of the slide, and we placed it in front of the opening, and we cut it in layers and polished it so that it's a finished uh, detail, and you don't even know, like I said, it's a slide. Also, the rock at the very exit point of the slide has a U-shape to it. That was all hand cut and ground and polished. It took us four weeks to polish that rock out to the detail that you see. And when the water is flowing and running, uh, it, it looks more like a cave almost. So when people come flying out of that thing, they just suddenly they come out of nowhere and they're just splashing in the pool and just having a lot of fun. And one of the things that inspired this job was um, years ago when I was uh, a teenager, we used to hike and backpack up in the mountains. And there was a place called Angel Falls up in Northern California above Bass Lake. And at Angel Falls, uh, the water uh, that rushed down the mountainside would carve these natural pools in the rock. And, and they had these natural rock slides. And you'd go down this slide, and you'd go down to this, this deep pool, and this thing would just start, the current would just take you, and you'd just kind of just bob around in there and float around in circles in the mountains. It was absolutely fun. It was a blast. So I told my client about that experience, and I wanted to re recreate that for him here. And he, like, I thought that was just the greatest thing since Tom's. He said, let's do it. We named this, this particular project Angel Falls because it was inspired by an actual experience that I had and my friends and places we used to go during the summer and, and just have a blast. So I wanted to give him something that he could experience, what I experienced, and he could share with uh, his family and his nephews and their grandkids and everybody's you know, family. 